More people say when D is smaller. So let's start there. Are you an acrobat? Good. Okay, so just put that on your finger and, and just balance it. Don't let it fall. Excuse me, don't let it fall. Okay, fine. <clears throat> okay, try it the other way. You like that way better? Yeah. Try again. Maybe your skill is going up. The people voted, you know. Maybe not. <clears throat> I think it's pretty unambiguous, right? Yes, thank you, Bonnie. I think it's a lot easier to do this when it's up that way. <clears throat> Why is that? Why should it be easier to balance when the mass is far away and ready to tip more? Yeah. He says that when the mass is farther away, your finger feels it tipping more easily. And you have to make larger adjustments, and it's easier to make large adjustments than small adjustments, I guess. Is that right? Yeah? Yeah? Yeah. Which way did I have it tip? Probably this way. He says that, okay, so let's pick this point as our, you know, where the, the finger is holding it as the reference point. And we won't have it perfectly. It won't be perfectly vertical. It will inevitably be tipped at some angle. And the question is, how rapidly will it now try to fall? That is, how big is going to be the angular acceleration? OK, so what is the, let's see. If I use this as the reference point, I guess I got to put on my forces. So the support force from the rod doesn't produce a torque, but gravity will produce a torque. Uh, what am I, uh, D is, it's D, right? D is this distance. So what's the torque from gravity about the reference point? Whoops, this should go a little farther. Something like that. So line of action of the force is there, so I want that distance, right? That's the perpendicular distance, R perpendicular, and that looks like D sine theta. So the torque is equal to uh, mg D sine theta but if I pick this way as positive for theta, then, yeah, that's right. Then I have the same direction for the torque, okay? The moment of inertia, if I can neglect the moment of the rod, so the moment is about equal to md squared. So the angular acceleration, torque equals I theta double dot. So mg d sine theta is about equal to md squared 
Okay, solving for the angular acceleration. So the m's go out, 1d, uh, 1d goes out, and we get g over d sine of the angle. Okay, so two comments. First, does that make the argument that it should be easier when the mass is farther away? Is that consistent with that argument? Because when D is bigger, for a given angle, we're going to get smaller acceleration, which means it's going to take longer for it to tip more, which means I have more time to react. Okay? Secondly, is that constant acceleration? No. Can I just integrate? Can I just integrate by multiplying by t or something? No. no. That ain't constant. So x nay on the kinematics k. Okay. <clears throat> All right. <clears throat> 